Well, folks, let's take a look at how the cows are doing this fall. So one thing that I have been trying to decipher, the code per se, is how much should you graze, when should you graze, especially in the fall time. So during the summertime, I can count on regrowth. I can count on beautiful weather. I can count on rain. Generally, unless it's summertime, then you don't count on anything like that. But a lot of folks say it's still grass. Graze it how you would in the summertime. <clears throat> so as you see, I have some low spots here. Then right next to it, some nice high spots and some beautiful lush green growth up here. So probably if I was to do this correctly, I would still be strip grazing them or at least tightening the paddocks up because down the hill here definitely needs more left behind and up the hill needs eaten more. So this is one day's worth of grazing and generally during the summer I would get about three days worth. So what we're gonna try is we're gonna try two, see how two looks and then maybe we'll go to three or fence them out of down here or whatever. Now the beautiful part is, is if I wanted to expand this entire farm to be one big open grazing paddock, I could because there is no regrowth so you're not harming anything by getting in before the regrowth. I was looking for this little guy. Was he behind the jersey the whole time? Mr. Red Magic over here must have been behind of Mr. Jersey. Yes, because I was looking for him and I didn't see his little tushy. He's cute. So that is something that uh, that is something that I've been trying to figure out is exactly how to do this fall grazing thing because there's no regrowth, because there's minimal, if at all, water in the fall. Now this fall has been extremely wet. Most falls are, are pretty dry for us. So I've been trying to just learn, trying to figure it out. Uh, currently, I have my soil probe in the ground here because I want to see where we're at. We're at 44 degrees. I'm sure the camera can't see that. And, which is good. Uh, Obviously it's not frozen, so that means that with a massive rain event, we'll have a bunch of compaction, we'll have a bunch of divoting of the soils and such. Um, but we aren't going to be hurting any regrowth. So in the summertime, you worry a lot about rest periods because if you come back before it's completely rested, you'll hurt the roots. Well here, it doesn't matter as much because the roots are already dormant. The grass is already dormant. Everything is already dormant. So it won't really matter if we, uh... oh my, you, you, my bully bull friend, have some, some dew claws going wild there, buddy. Yeah, you might need a trim, sir. That's kind of weird looking. So like I say, just trying to figure out this whole fall grazing deal. Mr. Murphy is deciding if I taste good or not and want to take a bite out of me. He actually just wants an alfalfa cube, which I did not bring him today. No, I did not, Mr. Murphy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. So, you'll have to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Like I say, I'm probably going to leave him here for another day. And then maybe I will set up the different grazing cells like I had prior in this section because I was thinking about it the cows during the summertime will be out here during rainstorms so what's it matter if it's a summer rain or a fall rain as long as I don't leave them in here too tight too long it won't cause any issues but with how thick this stuff is I might fence off this area for the cows and then that way I do exactly what I did during the springtime and summertime and section graze or rotationally graze, whichever you prefer to call it. But I'm just thinking about, like I say, different ways to test, different ways to graze, especially for fall. I have done fall grazing in the past. I did it last year and years prior, but the one thing I think I was missing is a lot of folks say graze it how you would during the summertime. So if you would normally graze, you know, the one third, if you're the one third theory, type grazer you know that's how you should graze in the fall if you're an ultra high density 
supremely long recovery time grazer, then that's what you should do in the fall. And, and I think that it, it, it does make sense uh, a little bit, at least for me, to do that because if it's good for it in the springtime, in the summertime, it'll be good for it in the fall time. And especially since I have waited until the grasses have gone dormant, you know, soil temperature is like, it was down to 30, so it pulled all the starches out, now it warmed up a little bit. Uh, and the grasses will not start regrowing until about 50, 60 degrees soil temperatures, which is never gonna happen in Ohio unless we have some major rain event, or a uh, warming event, I should say. So at least in that regard, we're okay. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying it this year. We're gonna graze this stuff. I will wait till it's frozen and or dry to do the corn field and the hay field because I have some testing I wanna do with the corn field. So thank you guys so much for watching. Mr. Murphy, you'll see you on the next one. Ain't that right, buddy?